What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome back to another epic video. And today I wanna address something that came to my attention a few days ago. I received an email and one of our FCM members mentioned that, uh, hey, um, I have a laptop that's 1080p resolution. That's the maximum resolution on the laptop. And when I try to put a four up, uh, my scopes, they look all weird and uh, it takes up half the screen. And then when I try to break it down and just minimize my scopes, it goes back to only one up and uh, it's just not enough. Like, how do I work around that? Are there any options, um, budgetary options to kind of figure out a way to get around it? So this is what we're going to be covering in this video. And anybody that wants to deep dive into uh, best equipment when it comes to monitoring or or laptop or you know desktop computer and all that good stuff my free training is absolutely loaded with advice and links to which kind of equipment you should buy depending on your budget and skill set so check it out link is down below ever wonder how to turn your sdr grade to hdr in addition to that this free webinar includes proper workflow to using hollywood's most used film print emulation, custom techniques to stress testing your LUTs, future proof LUTs for HDR and ASUS workflows. Learn to balance your footage in seconds with printer lights. Secrets to building an HDR ready note tree. Prepping Dolby Vision trim for Netflix. Pro tip when saving a power grade. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, you know exactly what to do. So smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. And there is 56% of you that are watching this content that are not subscribed to this channel. So if you want to show some support, it will mean the world to me. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram for behind the scenes and tons of other tips and tricks that we put out there all day, every day. And let's roll the intro. All right, guys, so let's get this party started. So here was the problem that one of the FCM members was having. OK, so they said when they make the scopes bigger and set a four up, this is called the four up because you have four different scopes. Now, if I go to this, this is called a two up and you can bring this down. But let's just say even if you bring this down and you only have two screens, say resolution on your laptop or monitor that you're using is only 1080p. This is what I set this up to. OK, uh, this is a 6K monitor, but I have it set to 1080p to kind of um, create that scenario. Uh, that I was asked. Uh, so if we go back to four up and if I put it right there, you can see that it's near impossible to grade like this. There's just no way. I can't even access my curves right now. So if you're only working with your laptop or if you're only working with one monitor that's 1080p, it's near impossible, right? So how do we fix that in the most uh, you know budget efficient way possible? This is what I recommend. So check this out. Go on eBay or whatever the equivalent is in your country. Go on one of those sites, Craigslist, whatever have you, type in iPad. You don't need to get the latest and the greatest iPad. You just have to get like a half decent, you know, mid-generation iPad. So even something like this, it doesn't even matter if it's refurbished as long as it works or if it doesn't work, you can send it back. So 120 bucks, this is the cheapest screen you can buy, a, a true wireless solution um, for your scopes. All right. And I'll show you how easy it is to set it up, especially for the Mac users. Uh, but also it's as simple for the PC users as well. So let's focus on the Mac users first, because that's what we're doing right here. This is what you got to do. So you see on my screen right here up top, this is called a sidecar um, option that the new Mac OS offers. So once I go there, I get to see my iPad right here. So see, it says connect to. I can just go ahead and click on Wakasa's iPad and look what happens as soon as I click on it. All of a sudden, um, it's going to take a second and we can see our screen right here. And look at this. When I move my mouse right over here, there there is absolutely zero lag. There's no lag. This connection is as good as hardwired connection. OK, and now what I have to do is let's expand my scopes again. I can just grab this here and then start moving it over and just look at it. I move it over, I bring it over and just leave it right here. Perfect. Like again, zero lag right here. Now let me go ahead and make some changes and you'll see that the scopes will be moving in real time. So check this out. Look at this. 
And even if we match it to that screen, to like all the changes that I'm making, there is absolutely zero latency. And that's very important when you're grading. You don't want any latency because you, you are on the move. You want to just go. Okay. And for the PC side, uh, you guys can go to duetdisplay.com slash pro and just buy their Windows version. It is as good of a solution. Just look at it. You can either do a hardwire or you can do wireless. It doesn't matter. And this could be your PC instead of a Mac. They ju they're just showing a picture of a Mac. It could be a PC and you can basically use this setup. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. I mean, just look at it. And how nimble is that? Especially if you're on the move. If you're on the go, you only have a laptop, you're working from your hotel room, you're not going to be lugging around a monitor. You're not going to be checking in a monitor, all that stuff. You're just going to, you know, uh, stay compact. So you're going to have your laptop. You're going to have your iPad, whip it out, set it up. You're ready to go. So um, there you have it. So this week, I just wanted to switch it up and focus a little bit more on the hardware side since the majority of the questions that we get are somewhat related to um, hardware aspect of color grading. So hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Do not forget to check out the free training, especially like I said, if you want to deep dive and figure out uh, exactly the type of equipment you need with model numbers and all that. And guys, on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.